Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about Obsidian templates. I will show you all the templates that I use in my Obsidian board in order to supercharge my second brain. Templates are powerful. They can help you save a lot of time and help you stay productive. Templates help to reduce the friction you have in your workflow. And templates can help you fall in love with personal knowledge management again because you can automate all the boring and repetitive stuff that you do in your workflow. So without any delay, let me take you to my Obsidian Vault, my second brain and show you all the templates that I use in order to supercharge my second brain. But before that, let's talk about the plugin that I use. I don't use the core plugin called Templates which I have disabled over here. I use the Comdi plugin called Templator and Templator is more powerful plugin than the templates plugin. You can install it from the community plugin section, go to browse and search for templator. And here you have the templator. It is one of the most downloaded plugins in the Obsidian community plugin section. So let me just update it here. And if you are wondering about whether you should use templated plugin or templates plugin, I saw a beautiful analogy by a Reddit user where he compared these two plugins. He referred to templates as a hammer while templated as a old toolkit. So if you just want to hang a picture on the wall and you have a nail, then all you need is a hammer. But if you want to build things from ground up, if you want to build a self, then you will need the whole toolkit, not just a hammer, but also screwdrivers, but also nails and all the other stuff that you need to build it. So that's what templator is. Templator is a whole toolkit. So if you go to templator, go to options, and here is the you have to specify the template folder location here and it is stored in my 004 templates folder and here is the option that you need to enable that is trigger templator on new file creation so if this uh, option is disabled please enable this one now let me take you to my templates folder over here okay here is the templates folder and here are some of the templates that i have used in my second brain let's begin with the first template that is the template for literature note and all of these course, podcast, videos and articles all have this literature note template. And the template is simple. First I have alias over here and it replaces the file name over here. That is the template function here which replaces the file title over the alias. And I can also add other aliases after I create a file over here by, by using comma. Then I have source which links back to the original source of this note and then I have type where I denote what type of note is this. This is a template for literature note. So obviously this will be a literature note. And here is the status for the literature note to develop. This means I still have to process this note. And here is a template function which moves this file automatically to resource folder whenever any note is created by using this particular template called article. And the videos is semi similar. I have source, type, and here is the template function to move the file to resources folder. I previously tried to add a lot of stuff over here like the date, the author and all the other stuff about the source of the information but all of that did not add any value to my system so I had to reduce that. It was just causing friction in my workflow so I removed all of that and now I only have the original source of the information and then I have the type that is literature note then to develop status which means I need to process this note and then the file gets moved to resources folder. So this was a simple template for literature note. If you want to see all of the templates in action then you can also download my obsidian starter vault that I will be linking in the description. So all of these templates will be over there and you can see how they are you can see the, all the codes over there. Next template I'm gonna show you is the book template. Book template is also a literature note template but it has some more information about the book such as the all the metadata like the date published, number of phases, author and all other stuff like that. Because I don't want to input all of that stuff manually, I use the plugin called Book Source, which is available as community plugins. You can go to browse and search for Book Source. And this is the plugin called Book Source right here. And if I go to options, here are some settings. New file will be added to this resources folder. Let me change the folder location over here. And here we have the file name. The file name will be the title of the book. You can also add the template file. I haven't done that. So whenever I want to add a book note in my Obsidian Vault, I can just use the hotkey Alt B or you can assign any other hotkey. So let me search for a book called Think and Grow Rich. And if I click on search, it will search for the book Think and Grow Rich and I can select the book and all of the metadata will be added over here. You can see here, think and grow rich, category self-help, publisher penguin, total page 314. And all of this 
information is used for my reading tracker which i have prepared here is the status that is to read so this book will be placed into the to read section so let me show you over the reading list and these are here is the to read and here is the book think and grow rich added over here and i have prepared this reading list by using our database plugin if you want to learn about creating a similar book list or a reading tracker for yourself as well you can check out my video i will link it in the i button so this was a simple way or simple template that i use for book okay i forgot to show all the information about the book template as well okay here is the title which will replicate the title of the book from book source plugin that's added over the settings in book source in the content setting and here is the title title will be the title of the book that is in the front matter author will be the author here you can see all the syntaxes that are available and then we have over here type that is literature note book and to develop means this books this book needs to be processed again so this was a simple example of the book template that i use in my obsidian board now let me show you another example of a permanent note template this is a permanent note template where alias is the file title name and this note automatically gets moved to the folder called atomic notes over here and here we have type that is permanent note and topics include the links to other notes as well as well as the topic that this particular note falls under and reference means the source of this atomic note what is the literature note that this atomic note has been extracted from that's what i write in the reference section one thing that i'm still trying to figure out is a good way to create connections between different nodes this is all about the permanent node now let me go to my daily notes section and here is the example of my daily note template here is an alias which will write today's date in this format and then i have a heading which is similar to the alias and then i have a template function that will create a link to my previous day's note as well as tomorrow's note and here we have i have got the evening review instead of using the daily note in the morning i usually use it in the evening to review my day so here is a simple prompt on what did you get done today what are the accomplishments that i had done today so this is a simple evening view review and here is another prompt how was my day what happened today so this is an idea i took from the youtube video called homework for life and the main idea of the video is that we all have moments in our life daily and those moments will fly if we don't capture them by doing this homework for life you won't lose another day in your life because if you go back and look today after 5 years you will be right back in the moment if you capture that moment so this was the basic idea of the video homework for life and this is also helpful from the perspective of storytelling so this is all about the daily notes now let me take you to my weekly note and here i have the weekly note template at first it will create a link to all the days all the daily notes of that week here you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it will create links to seven days of the week then there is the plan section and then there is the review section first here is the plan section and here is the review section in the plan section what are my five biggest accomplishments of the week similar to my daily note i don't use my weekly note to plan in the beginning rather at the end of the week i will use this template to review my week so what are my five biggest accomplishments of this week and what are my goals for next week this is a simple prompt that i have in my weekly note and here is the review of the books i the books i read and the things that i learn and here are, here is a section for memories worth remembering what are the uh, good moments that i had this week this is a simple template and here is a table of life uh, i'm not sure whether i'm going to be uh, using this or not but this is an idea i took from an article i don't remember actually you just create a table of life and you have a certain goal for all the area of life right? like career wealth health and fitness family and friends personal development and what is your current status on that particular area of life and you need to be improving on all of those area because if you improve significantly on one area and lack on other then your life will not be balanced to prevent tipping off this table of life is helpful i can't currently remember the article that talked about this but anyways let me take you to my another template that is my newsletter template here is the newsletter that i am planning to push out but i have not done actually uh, that is called timeless insights 
this is a newsletter that i will use to share all the best ideas that i have read or the best ideas that i have consumed over the week so here is the little to do capture notes and ideas write a newsletter edit copy to substack and review and publish so here is a metadata title title and publish date and here is there is a prompt section to share my best work of the week what did i write about what did i learn about something like that and here is a data view query which will list all the notes that have been created in the past seven days and here is a share a visual of the week let me go back and here is the quote of the week this is a simple one i have not yet started it i started it a long back but have not continued so i might probably continue this so this, this is a simple example of the template that i use in my obsidian board for preparing you can say a newsletter and the next template that i use or that i'm planning to use more extensively is this template called people template so i'll be using this to add all the information about the people that i know into my obsidian board and here i have the alias where i can write the other names of that person here is the name that will be the file title phone number email location birthday and all of these files will be moved to people folder over here and here is the section for related people and i also need to add over here moments worth remembering important moments let's just write important moments over here to capture all the important moments that we have together this is another example of a simple people template that i use where all the information will be added that is a uh, metadata for name phone number email location and birthday and here is another meta template that i used previously but i am not using anymore it was a simple template that that would automatically move notes based on the first character of the note if that particular note had this and symbol at the first as a first character then the template called book will be applied to it and it will be moved to resources folder otherwise if the note did not include any of these symbols the note would be added to permanent note so this is a simple template that i used previously but i am not using it anymore if you want to see how these templates work for you and if you want to copy all of the template functions and all that stuff then i'll be linking to the download link for my obsidian board so that you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video till now i hope you found the video helpful and if you found the video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video because i'll be coming with more obsidian related content in the future thank you for watching have a great time